welcome, welcome back. Fifth episode. I think this is number five, right? Yes, it is number five. Okay, <laughs> number five. Welcome back, episode five of the Something Original podcast. My name's Hazy, and I am Gan. How are you doing, Gan? I'm doing okay, man. Welcome how, aboard. <laughs> how are you? <laughs> I'm doing okay. So. Uh, it's nine o'clock at night on a Friday night. We usually record these on like a Saturday or a Sunday, but I'm actually going to be out of town for this weekend. So I appreciate you, uh, getting this done early with me. No How problem. are you feeling on this late night? I'm feeling inspired. Inspired. Sensational. The, what was sensational? Oh, I like it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Did anything crazy happen to you this week? What's what's been going on, bro? I, ha- I feel like I haven't talked to you like all week. I know, I know, man. It's uh, well, I mean, lots of lots of sad happened this week, honestly. But um, like throughout, like I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, you, you know, yeah, I told you about everything that was going on. But, yeah, uh, you told me about that. Yeah. But besides, you want to go into it? Uh, well. Uh well you don't have to you yeah, don't have to no I mean, I, mean I will don't. I will my uh my cousin passed away um mm. very sorry to hear that man yeah very abruptly um taken but that um but yeah it's it's life though unfortunately that's the sad ending to this beautiful cycle is you know yeah. we must go to the next and the next and the next and until we can all get it right you know what i mean but yeah yeah that's all i i just look at death now after my life and everything and it's like i know that this person would want me to just keep going you know they would they wouldn't want me definitely they wouldn't want me to stop you know constantly just keep. and you shouldn't exactly bro just keep going so yeah, you know, just make the life, make the world, you know, the place where, you know, like, just make it fulfilling exactly. in her place, you know? Exactly, bro. That's what I do. I, li- I live on for the people I have lost in life. And I always want to yeah, strive man. for them. What about you, You bro? talked about... Oh, <laughs> oh uh, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're uh, good. My week, I mean, my week hasn't been too bad i mean i didn't have anybody dies thankfully sorry sorry again for your loss but um no, it's fine. yeah i mean my my week's just been chilling i mean i seriously have not been doing much of anything like i said i'm gonna be out of town this weekend it's me and shiloh's uh two-year anniversary Ooh, congrats bro for real Woo. yeah thanks we're going to pittsburgh i thought that's where i asked her to be my girlfriend she uh, corrected me. That's not actually what happened. Wow. <laughs> what a what a yeah, modern day so, Romeo. <laughs> yeah, I mean. No, I'm just kidding, yeah. bro. Yeah, just, it's a thought that counts. No, seriously, I feel so dumb because of that. <laughs> I feel so bad, but Pittsburgh's so cool. That's where we're going. I don't know if I said that, but you guys ever been? Have you ever been to Pittsburgh? I yeah. I actually have not. I want to go. They had the Mac Miller, you know, memorial there. Oh yeah, that's right. You should definitely. I forgot he was from there. Yes, you should definitely do that and uh, send me a picture, you know, of that. You know, just <laughs> you know, just so I could live through you in that moment for a second. Well, you should experience it yourself. I definitely will someday. I would love that. Oh, I, I have something to say. <laughs> Okay. So last week I mentioned that I got my COVID vaccine. Okay. And I I I told you guys everything was fine. You know, I had like my little slip up. Like I thought I was gonna pass out, but I thought I was fine. But they don't tell you about the side effect, and I think it. I think it's very alarming, and I think a lot of people should know. My dick has gotten fucking huge. What? Like, you know, I talked about how I don't know if sh- uh, showers even exist. I'm a fucking shower now. Huh. In- interesting. No longer growing. I know you're trying. I am. To, I know you're trying to entice me now to get a vaccine, <laughs> but it's still I'm, I'm perfectly fine, you know, but still. 
I mean, that's I'm intriguing. Just, Very intriguing. I'm just kidding. Nothing, nothing like that has happened. I just wanted to. Oh. I just wanted to make a joke about it. <laughs> Still rocking the the three inches I I have. Hey man, you know, it's mm, the the fight in the dog. There we go. What? I don't. I don't. <laughs> fight in the dog. I don't know. I don't know. I, I was trying to be motivational, <laughs> but you know. I appreciate it's okay. it, man. It's okay, brother. <laughs> um, you want to tell me what you're rocking with, or <laughs> are um, we just gonna move on? <laughs> disclosed. Dis- disclosed. Okay. And, got um, it. no comment. <laughs> I let I let my game do the talking. Wait, no. Okay. I, I, I just kidding. Duh, dude, it's all in the motions, bro. It is. It is. Stroke games got to be, like, <laughs> your main thing. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. so let's move on. Let's move yeah, on. yeah. Do you, do you uh, <laughs> remember the moment of conscious, conscience, conscience in your life? Um, do you know what that is? Like, where you fully gained, like, conscience? When I fully gained Like, conscience. when you were younger? Um, honestly, like. It, something just clicked you know and like you were all all of a sudden you were aware of everything you were like oh shit like i'm a person uh yeah when i actually got my front two teeth pulled oh really yeah i remember <laughs> it's so, it sounds so sad when i explain it but it's like my first like real memory i had was pain <laughs> it literally Jesus uh, yeah Christ. that's literally like, the earliest memory i have was when i was ironically about to be put under for like you know with um i don't know what the exact thing they use off the top of my head anesthesia right now. anesthesia yeah and they're about to put me under for that and uh, i remember i was terrified i remember i was yeah it wasn't a good day and then i came to and my mouth hurt like a turtle berry and oh shit yeah dude <laughs> it was not not a good time but I remember my mom and dad being there, which was, that's what I hold to. That was pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Back in a time where yeah. it was different, you know. Uh, but, do yeah. <laughs> the audience know about, like, oh, I guess they know you're uh, an orphan. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> I'm an orphan child, <laughs> for sure. Uh, do you want to talk about, like, that? or? You oh, just wanna yeah, I mean, I, c- I can. Uh well, no, you don't have to. I don't want to pressure you to talk no, about stuff I'll, you don't want to talk about. I'll talk about anything, dude. Uh, really, I'm pretty much open book because I know that with the things that have gone on in my life that, you know, sometimes people can relate to those things. So, if, yeah. you know, if it speaks to people, then I'm all for it, you know. Um, but I was, you know, a orphan child. No, I'm just kidding. I was born <laughs> in, in Dayton, Ohio. Um, I was living back and forth between with my real, my biological parents and my great grandparents. And, um, my great grandparents were, you know, old fashioned, sweet people, uh, to the T my grandma, extremely smart woman. Uh, she was really big. I remember she'd always teach me about evolution, which I thought was so crazy. Now looking back. Hell Yeah with her time and like you know what i mean like the the times that she grew up and i'm like whoa i'm like my grand my grandma is hip like she just you know yeah, seriously. she keeps with it she was just huge science and i think that's where i get it from i just loved when she would just teach me all the new modern sciences coming out i'm like whoa my mind is blown right now you know and um my grandpa he was a he was a kentucky man uh you know just a real soft-spoken uh prior navy you know just a just a southern gentleman you know like that kind of vibes just super just I, my grandpa was the sweetest um but then um yeah i was living back and forth with my mom and dad and they had a lot of issues going on um yeah with a lot of different issues um but you don't have to go into any details yeah, if you don't want to. It's that's not the like you know. Uh, my dad left when I was six, and then my mom was shot and killed when I was seven, and yeah, I I don't know that like that was tough. 
uh, you yeah. know, as a, I, I can't, seven. I can't imagine, honestly, like I, I take it for granted, you know, I think a lot of us do like, like life. I think, Oh, go ahead. No, that's what I was saying. Life. We take life for granted and that's why I cling to mine yeah. so much. I try to enjoy every single aspect of it. I really do. Last night I was sitting on the porch and I was having an amazing conversation with this amazing person. And, you know, I was looking out and I was just, and what, what I've been trying to practice is live in the moment, man. Like just, yeah. and I remember I was just talking to this person <laughs> and, um, you know, amazing yeah. conversation. Um, and then I was like, I was just looked out, saw the sunset. I was on the back porch at my folks' house mm-hmm. and yeah, dude, I just like watching the sunset and I just, I don't know, man. I just like, I just sat there and I just, I remember I just smiled and I just soaked it all in. I was like, man, man, sometimes, yeah, man. you know, that's what I'm saying. And that's what I'm also saying is that, yeah, bad things happen all the time, man, all the time. And what I always want to tell people is like, just absorb all the moments, you know, and then have a balance with between the bad and the good in your life. You got to, there's no lives where it's like all good and there's no lives where it's all bad. There are moments that shine through, cling to both, learn from both. It's so crazy how life, you know, is just so different between everybody. You know, we all have so many different experiences and it just, it, builds this foundation that we all stand upon you know and we we all strive for different things we all have different traumas we all have different backstories we all have different needs and wants and desires and you know it's just it's it's so crazy of a concept and we are all the same species yeah at the same time you know and even it, farther the divine consciousness that we all share damn Boom. <laughs> for sure. I'm dropping some knowledge <laughs> for y'all real quick. So the the moment I gain my consciousness, con- am I saying it right? I don't con- know. Consciousness. I, it sounds wrong yeah. when I say it. No, dude. It's always right when you say it. It's your consciousness, <laughs> dog. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> but, on, dude, I seriously, like, I can remember stuff from when, like, I... I shouldn't be able to remember stuff. You know what I'm saying? I remember there was a, I remember this one thing. I, I was like not even old enough to like walk yet. You know? Yeah. I don't think this is like my moment of conscience, but I like have this like, uh, like point where I was just like not even old enough to walk or talk yet. I don't even think. And I was like laying on the floor. I bet I couldn't even crawl. I bet. And I was just looking up at my mom and dad. They were sitting on the couch. And my brother, my older brother, he was sitting on the couch, I think, as well. And they were just looking at me. And they were watching TV, like, and shit. And I was just, like, looking around. I saw my fucking ceiling. I saw, like, the painting that we had on the wall. And I was just like, what the fuck is this? And I, I, always, and I have, like, little bits of those moments, too, like, spread across before I fully, like, became aware in my conscience, you know? Yeah, I get what you're saying. Bro. I, I can't remember when I fully like gained my conscience. I think it was when I asked my mom for some milk, and I was like, "I want milk," and she like went to go give me milk, and she was like, "I don't think you're gonna like it," and I was like, "I want the fucking milk." I didn't say that, but I want the milk, and I drank the milk, and I was like, "This milk is disgusting." Yeah, like a bottle of milk. Not I'm not trying to be gross. Like it was a bottle. <laughs> Yes, I get what you're okay. saying. <laughs> okay, uh, so you... I just drank like whole milk. It was like from the fucking like carton milk. Yeah. You fucking sickos! Don't don't even try me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> stop! stop. <laughs> I, it's not I, funny. I, I, it, it was a, it, it was a good time. Oh, uh, <laughs> it was a good time. What do you mean? living life at that age you know yeah dude ha- movies today sorry to go off topic movies today fucking suck 
Like, have you, like, it's it's either, like, a rerun or it's just, like, a shitty, like, indie movie that, like, is somewhat good and we call it good. But it's just, like, we had some fucking bangers back then, you know? And now everything's just a rerun. Yeah. Like, what do you oh. think happened? Like, are are we just not, like, original enough to make our own shit, you know? Or just, like... I don't know, like, Hollywood is just full of, like, unoriginal talent, I guess, and they're just trying to beat a dead horse to death, you know? Yeah. I that's what I feel like they definitely need to come back with some kind of originality. I love a lot of older movies. Um, yeah. Like I said before. And, like, Donnie Darko is another one of those ones I really do enjoy. Um, but... I don't, yeah, like you're saying, there's nothing really original coming out unless it's like an indies movie. I feel like there's actually, I don't know, I don't remember the last time I saw a new movie come out actually that I really enjoyed, to be honest. Yeah, seriously. I mean, the whole like Marvel Cinematic Universe, maybe, those were all good movies, but those are all like, those are all just like sis- systemic almost, you know? Those are all just like, they're all a part of this they all have the same formula they all kind of do the same thing and they're all connected it's cool to watch them all together but it's just like now that that like phase one is over with now like dc is trying to do the same thing they're already trying to like revamp that whole era of movies even though it just happened and it's just gonna get so repetitive so fast i feel like well, yeah, that's what is exactly going to happen with them. Uh, it's, I don't know, and I feel like that's when the rise of Justice League is going to happen. Um, I hope so. I hope so, too. I would love to see <laughs> Green Lantern on top of the world um, instead of... Oh, did you... Oh, my God. Like, all the... They're saying, like, movie theaters aren't going to be a thing, like, in a year. Like, they're just not going to exist because, like, all the, like, streaming services are just going to have all the movies available once they're done. Like, with Justice League and stuff. Oh, my they're not fucking God, that. dude. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, that's... I, that's I fucking read an garbage. article the other day. That's fucking garbage. That's super garbage. I know, dude. It was the experience of it. I get it. You know, people don't want to spend, like... Oh my god! Ten bucks on popcorn, but I mean, it's just like that's it, why you bring it, it, it in a, a bag. Whole experience. <laughs> you bring <laughs> you it in a bring bag. It, some people won't let you bring in a bag, bro. <laughs> like it's. Well, um, put it. You know, what, well, dude? I don't know. There's ways to do that. But, I know, and, and it's ways. just like the whole atmosphere of being in a totally engulfed in an, a movie atmosphere. Like, I don't know. That fucking actually kind of made me fucking sick. I'm, I'm just going to be honest. <laughs> that, like, I just love movies. Like, when I, you know, I do. Like, I'll just go watch, like, I'll watch movies by myself. I'm that fucking guy. Um, like, you know. People are actually happy that movie theaters are going out, though. Because it, it is like a, of course it, everyone it's a is. convenience thing. <laughs> of course everybody is. Of course everyone old is. old soul. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let me just, okay, look, oh, let's just all fucking sit in our goddamn fucking living rooms. Get off work, go right to the fucking living room. Like, what? <laughs> That's such a fucking sad-ass existence. No, thank you, good sir. I am retiring after that. No, I'm just kidding. But, dude, what is wrong with it? <laughs> I don't know. Let's go to the next topic. That's just depressing. <laughs> And then what? But wait, do they take drive-ins out too? Do they take that from us? God fucking damn it, dude! Drive-in. They take oh, those are. I don't. I've never been to a drive-through, or drive-in. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> so you, you're the reason this is fucking happening. People like you. God, fuck. That. Uh, oh my <laughs> to be God. honest i do like movie theaters like i do want to go to the movies still but i mean 
I see where they're coming from, dude. I mean, it is a huge, like, inc- especially if there's people in the fucking audience that are just talking the whole fucking movie, and you're like, God damn it, like, shut the fuck up. Yeah. You know, and it's just like, yeah, and it's an inconvenience, because we used to not live, I used to not live near a fucking movie theater. I had to drive, like, 30 minutes to a movie theater. I have one, like, right down the road now, but... It used to be a huge oh convenience. God. If I, w- <laughs> oh my fucking god, I'm gonna let I'm gonna be fucking sick. It's a whole like, fucking experience. Like, do you, does everyone want to just live in a fucking cubicle? God fucking damn, Jesus. <laughs> I let's like just, how let's passionate just, let's you are with all, the movies. Let's just all. This is like the most. Passionate. No, I, I'm just looking at it in the, the sense of life. Because okay, first is movie theaters, and dude, next thing you know, everyone's just gonna be in their fucking house, and that's what everyone wants is everyone in their fucking house. You want to fuck? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, bro. I like the experience of movie theaters. I like going and like seeing it on the fucking big ass screen, you know. Because my TV's small as fuck right now. I just, I think I just live for f- fucking life. I'm my bad. I don't know. That's fucking weird, bro. <laughs> my bad. My fault, bro. <laughs> my, like, dude, I'm heated though. Because it's just like, it's so sad seeing everyone just want to enclose themselves into nothingness. Like, what? Like, just like, all just live in our little box and go and work so that we can keep this fucking beautiful box taken care of and not see the world outside or fucking go on fucking adventures. Everyone just wants to live in a constant fucking fear. And that's where I'm going to say on that. I don't you even care. I really don't care. People are fearful of going to the movies? <laughs> no, Chase. I'm okay. okay. You see, you keep looking at it in the sense of movies. I've moved beyond that. Okay. okay. <laughs> so I'm talking about fucking life in general. Okay. Dude whatever man well the outdoors are like scary they're bears oh my god you don't go to the places that have bears and if you're a poacher also fuck you i'm gonna add that on there if you're a poacher oh you're you're a coward and you're not even a fucking man fight go out there and fight a lion with a spear okay not a 50 caliber from 100 yards away fucking pussy shit yeah there's I'm sorry. I'm, not, I'm just. I'm in a mood today. I'm. 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 Do I'm, it. I'm, fucking go off. I am. I'm in. I'm on one. Okay. Right now. Have you Have you watched the documentary on Netflix? Uh, sea Spiracy? I have not. I don't watch it, TV. It, this, <laughs> yeah. Well, you are. You're the fucking. You're the one that's like movie theaters better stay open or, or I will fucking keep yeah that's myself that's like two hours but you're also the same people you're also the same person that's like i'm not watching anything right now at home in my box <laughs> my bad would you <laughs> once again would you go <laughs> would you go to the movie theater tomorrow if a, like a show yes. was on yeah yes I really would. yeah if there's a movie oh, there yeah. Uh, yeah i would go to f- fucking richmond yeah dude instantly if there's a movie there oh, i want to watch name drop yeah dude is there even actually? I'm not going to Richmond now there? because I don't want to see people I know. So, it, actually, yeah. never mind because tomorrow's Saturday. Um, never mind. <laughs> I might be somewhere uh, tomorrow. Never mind. I, I'm <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you gonna be tomorrow? Wait. I I smoked way too much for this. Um. Oh, I yeah, I drank a little bit. I kind of sobered up though. But um, how are you feeling? How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling all all kinds of good emotions, but heated, of course. The, I'm sorry, I brought it at up. The lack, <laughs> it's just like the lack of, I'm just, it's not even like the movies. I'm just saying like the lack of adventure in people is just so dead. Ugh. Well, it's just society, you know, like we, we are conditioned to, like we, we don't have a, work life's schedule it's a work and then maybe if you get to it life you know it's Mm -hmm. just the it's just the fucking status quo of everything you know we have to like what we need to do what we fucking need to do instead of having uh working our lives around our work our job we should be working our job around our life you know or fuck a job (laughs) because 
eventually we'll get to a point where fucking robots will do everything for us and i'm there for it i want that shit to happen and then we can literally just pursue anything we want we can live off the land if we want we can just fucking stay at home if we want we can do whatever we want we can be fucking writers artists you know we could we could do whatever we want and we don't have to worry about money and oh sorry this is just a fucking dumb rant i wanted to go on but society we need some change you're you're on board bro are do you agree with everything i just said uh yeah but i don't know you you sound unsure after hearing i don't know after just thinking about society i'm very unsure well what was unsure about what i said i feel like i was the opposite of the current society um, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm lo- I, I've lost What would be train. your perfect, like, utopian society? Um, people just being themselves instead of living a fake life. Well, that's what I was saying, basically. That's what I'd want in my utopian society. Get rid of war. Get rid of Definitely. all of that. That's just nuts in itself and worthless to us as a species um but yeah my utopian society would definitely just i don't know man people just live in how they want to live you know not putting their pressures of what they believe on others and vice versa or you know just like what works for you works for you homie and then you know that's it that's it you know co- I, yeah, coexisting I, like to the fullest all the way down like that's what i'd want in my utopian society i feel it man i mean that's basically on par of what you know i want to see i mean it's just a simple change you know like just 180 the whole fucking current system like it's simple we can do it but so did you hear your your feelings on the government are I, I know your feelings on the government. You don't trust them. But I guess they basically just came out and said UFOs or aliens are real. Like, we, they live among us. They're here. We're seeing. Like, there have been, like, fucking 100 sightings of UFOs this week. And the and the government has just been like, yep, we don't know what that is. Like, that's not us. That's not anybody that we know about. That's something. Something's happening. What, but they, what but that? they have known about, like, I just now I'm now I'm wondering what are they trying to sell. That's what I'm wondering. Well, no, I mean they know of aliens. They basically came out and said like, yeah, you know, like aliens are real. But why now? Uh, but why now? Well, it's probably because of all the fucking sightings. <laughs> it's, it's probably because like, we're probably asking them like, hey, what the fuck is happening? I guess uh, you did you hear about the the navy ship? Yeah, I did. Uh, I watched the were, video. Like, there were a bunch of fucking UFOs following yeah. them, and it was like a triangle-shaped one. Yeah. What do you think is about to happen, dude? Hopefully, people start waking up. <laughs> That's what, what I hope. What does that mean? What, <laughs> people, <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> people start, like, actually looking at the world around them because it's about to start changing dramatically. That's what I I'm hope thinking. so, dude. Our fucking current world is just like a... Ugh, it's a mess. We if aliens were to come down today and we're like, this is how you guys need to be living, I'd be like, I'm all for it, dude. Like, whatever these guys have been doing, fucked everything up. Like, we've had slavery. Like, we've had fucking corruption, genocide. We've, um, we hate, all kinds of we just hate our own species. Unnecessary manslaughter of everything. Yeah, seriously, we're That's killing our own planet. Like. <laughs> if aliens came down tomorrow and were like, these are the guidelines you have to follow, I would be like, I'm all about it. I, like, let's do it. S- sign I ride me in the spaceship? Oh. Let me draw the boat. Would you would you, would you? you be down if, like, aliens came down and were like, eh, we're taking, like, a few million of you guys uh, to, like, our home planet? Would you go? Um, is that even a question? Get away from... Oh, yeah? Um, like, well, first of all... Well, what does, if... Is there food there what for me? Is there like, sustainable air? Like, 
I'd have some questions, of course, you know. I wouldn't just go. Oh, yeah, it's fed, totally fed, safe. Fed, it's 100% you know. safe for us to go. Then, hell yeah, brother. They're probably but beyond if, taxing and, you know, credit and other things that are totally worthless. But, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, my God, dude. I fucking, I think I fell for, like, a scam, like, right before the podcast. <laughs> oh, God. I've, I've been there myself. Yeah. Yeah. That's why. I, I fucking... Yeah. I gave out my fucking credit card number to what I thought was UPS because I've been <gasps> like fucking missing a package for a while. Yeah. And they texted me and they were like, hey, uh, we've been trying to deliver this package. So I thought it was real. So I was like, oh, yeah, you know, I'll fill out my shit. I gave him my fucking email address, my uh, credit card. <laughs> and then what, what, uh, tr- what finally like got me was like they asked for my password to my email and i was like oh no yeah so all, yeah that was a good, good at least it was a good red flag that's a real good red flag so i canceled my credit card <laughs> so, long story short yeah long story you, short i feel so d- and t- have you been getting like a bunch of scam texts lately um actually uh not recently um oh I get them. I get it like a lot when a I was in California. I would get those all really? the time. Yeah, yeah. And then I would always, I would always play along. You know, like <laughs> we found your social security card with eight kilos of cocaine and blood. And I'm like, yo. I was like, wait, how much is for a kilo? And then they're like, <laughs> we need your social security number. And I'm like, I was like, dude, how much money could we make off that? And then it, I just go in and I play along with their game, you know, yeah. because, you, yeah. And then I just, and then finally they just hang up. Did they never give you a, a number? No, dude. They would just, you know, I was like, yo, I want to know how much I could hypothetically sell this hypothetical cocaine covered in blood money. <laughs> what if they have like cocaine on standby and like, what if somebody actually falls for it? And and then they're like, fuck, you know, we have to give this cocaine to this guy. Yeah, he's here. <laughs> he actually came, dude. <laughs> he's like, bro, Ryan's out in the parking lot. Like, what, what are we going to do with this? <laughs> just, give him, just give him back. Just give him a kilo. Yeah. Uh, hey, man. <laughs> I couldn't imagine that going down. I, oh, not, I, I doubt I they could. ever do that. I bet, th- I bet they don't even, like, uh, give it out. I bet they just like ghost yeah. them after that. Well, I mean, I've had a, I've had one uh, actual cartel experience. Um, okay, hold on, this podcast just took a turn. Well, actually, I can't, I can't, I can't explain everything that was going on. Well, just give us the deets. Um, just a well, deets. I was uh, partaking in uh, some stuff. Okay, okay, hold on. Uh, t- you never want to start by saying I participated in something possibly illegal. Um, well, it... We'll, you know, we'll cut it. Well, Maybe. Wait, no. Raw. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah, I was, um, I was with my friends and we were all, you know, t- um, I'm, ca- I'm trying to think how to word it so it's not like... So it doesn't sound like a sexual innuendo, and I can't mention uh, there were substances. Innuendos there were substances. are better than crimin- there, incriminating yourself. There were substances. There okay. were substances, and you know, um, my, I'm gonna just say my peers were part of it, and I was there as well. And next thing you know, um, my guy shows up, and then. He, he, you know, brings um, party favors, and then his guy shows up and also brings party favors. You know, okay. gift sounds gift, like a party. Yeah, gift baskets and whatnot. And then, next thing you know, I was like, "There's a blatant like, you know, this guy had like a shoulder sling on, and then he had uh, screws in his arm." Uh, and I was like, "I was like, whoa." That even for what I'm doing right now, that's too much for me. And I nervously went and grabbed him a beer. And then I was like, "Of course." My first question, 
um so what happened to your arm good sir and he was like um I, you know i messed up this thing and uh they uh they broke my arm on the hood of my car and i was like oh okay this is that kind of stuff uh... i was like this is th- this is that kind of stuff going on and i was like well all of a sudden i forgot to feed my cat dude i got well oh i got to go Oh, you want to talk? Oh, my bad, bro. Never looked back. Uh, do you still <laughs> keep in contact with your friends? Uh, no. No. Uh, you know, there's... I wonder... Th- that, was like the f- that's one, that was one day when I was like, I need to make some real different life choices, Gan. <laughs> I was like, Gannon, you, you're, you don't need this. Come on, man. So how did that turn out? Um, your life choices. Way better, way better, dude. After yeah, I, I gave up the like lifestyle that I was living, that was just honestly just self destruction after self destruction. Um, but then I learned from it, dude, and that's what it's all about. And I don't, I don't feel guilty about you know. I just I moved from it, bro. I moved from it, and I'm just in a better, better place now. Yeah, I mean, those experiences. I love that you have these experiences because you can just share them on the podcast. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to fucking cut that shit out, and I'm going to use it for one of the fucking animated things. Oh, really? Oh, man. Oh, Dude, maybe. I don't know. If you want to. I'm I mean, down. I might, don't care, bro. That's, it might be a little clickbaity. I'm it is. For it. I'm for Dude, I have a lot of weird instances in, in Southern California. Wow. Like it's just like a it's a good state, dude. But for oh, some reason, yeah. I always just wanted to just hang out with you know, not the best people. Those are always the best people. Some in some cases, high key, <laughs> high key. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know. But um, yeah. let's go to a different you know lighter topic okay, than uh, it, cartel it. run-ins. So fucking British people. Okay, okay. I have a beef. Oh, let's let's beef hear this. Them. Let's hear this beef. What, what is it, my man? Their accents. I like them. What? What? You like them? I do. Okay, I'm just gonna be fucking broad as hell. They need to evolve past it. I don't. We don't need it. No. Because what are they trying? If what that, are they trying to do? If that dies, then wizards die. Chase, you don't know that. That's like a there are rule. No, there. Are, no wizards no though that's movie magic dude what you're talking about it doesn't exist and Uh, every wizard should be of like well but you don't have an english accent right i don't have to a british accent sorry sorry i i I mean i could do one (laughs) did you want me to use it right there (laughs) i mean most of the time, I grew up in London, and then I learned spells, a bunch of illustrious spells, mostly, assortments within these books that I've collected over the years, lots of different relics around this room. I'll be pleased to teach you, if you're down. Would you like to learn? Okay, <laughs> okay now do your wizard voice, just with your regular accent. <laughs> okay. Um here we go. There's an there's an assortment of books around this room of all different kinds that I've cur- gathered along my different quests. In the corner you'll find my staff. Among it nothing but amethyst. From the great mouth of Grigul the dragon. That that was good. I mean, you don't need the British accent. I could tell you were a wizard. Boom. Just by saying that. See? Thank you. Boom. So you proved my point. British people don't need their accents. <laughs> they need to they need to come up at least have uh, a different accent. Yeah. Like I feel like it's an old accent. I feel like you guys have been fucking using Well we it still for... got we still got southern accents and stuff. Oh, did you I just uh, figured well, that out. I wonder. I was wondering why we 
all have different accents and like different parts of like America. It turns out America was actually supposed to be broken up into different countries. Oh, really? Did you know about that? Yeah. Uh, and then someone like when they from... first came. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh. Oh, yeah. Was, like, when we first came here, like, we were kind of, like, you know, spreading apart. You know, we were doing our own thing. And then, like, when we colonized everything, like, when we first founded America, it was going to be, like, we were thinking about, like, instead of doing the states, we were going to do, like, different countries almost. And certain people went certain places. And that's why we have our accents and we're all different. That is a little tidbit. A little tidbit. I mean, you can look into it more. I'm not the expert in uh, the potentially countryfied America instead of state America. Hmm. How do you feel about that? Uh, I feel like if this country was split into, you know, three countries, um, that'd actually be pretty gnarly because then it'd be like different surrounding ideas instead of just a conglomerate of nothingness. But anyways... <laughs> I think that's I think that'd be pretty groovy. But yeah, I I think it would be I feel no actually, I kind of like how America is just like we're separated by states cuz dude, yeah. if we were separated by countries, we would need a fucking passport to go everywhere, you know? That's and true. if I wanted if I wanted to, <laughs> I live in Ohio, if I wanted to go to fucking California, <laughs> I would have to like go through like what if there was like a fucking like fascist dictator in like minnesota you know and like that country of minnesota <laughs> and they started having wars against like the other countries like below it and then like we well, were minnesota I like is most was, i mean like i i always hear about minnesota and minnesotians being actually pretty passive i'm um, not tr- i'm not so. trying to out everybody in minnesota oh. i'm sure minnesota people are very nice i'm just saying like the region of minnesota it doesn't yeah. even have to be minnesota it could be fucking like that just that area you know it could be yeah. fucking ohio fucking crazy people live in ohio that is true <laughs> yeah <laughs> Honestly, dude, if uh, if Ohio was just its own country, we would probably take over the world. I... <laughs> you think so? I mean, dude, we I... we birthplace of aviation, homie. We we there. We <laughs> you so when I said that, Shiloh gave me a look and was like, "Yeah, you're right." I'm just saying it would work. We okay, like we we brought literally like flight to the earth, fucking okay, planes for humans. So if we want to take over the world, honey, we could. <laughs> Isn't it so? I always see like the Ohio memes of like, wait, it's all Ohio, and then like the spaceman behind him's like, always has been. You know, you seen that? You see that one? Uh, I don't. Are you kidding. fucking kidding me, bro? I don't think so. Wait, what? You're from Ohio, and you don't have a collection of Ohio memes on you at all times. Uh, not usually. I didn't know this is a thing. Did I need this? I have this Matthew McConaughey one. <laughs> we're, we're talking about, uh, like in a drive. It's like when you ask people from Ohio, like what they like to do. And it's like Matthew McConaughey's face. And he's like, I like to drive. And I was like, wow, I resonate here. <laughs> this is it for me, dude. I saw that meme and I was like, you know what? I could die now. Honestly. No, I'm just kidding. But that's Can probably we talk about like how one. great Matthew McConaughey, Matthew McConaughey is. Jesus Christ! I almost uh, yeah, him. dude. I dude. I I think he's a fantastic actor. He's like a chameleon, honestly. He's fuck. I th- I think he's great. You know. I I have something to say. Okay. I've never watched Interstellar fully. Uh, don't feel bad because I haven't either. Really? Yeah, I have not either. Wow. Actually, Dude, we're fucking slacking. No, bro. it was another movie that was similar to Interstellar. I actually actually was seen it the one with Matt Damon, where they go to Mars. Damn, now I can't remember. I uh, watched that one in full. I never watched fucking Interstellar. I know I it was on TV one time, and I was watching like bits and pieces of it. Mm-hmm never fully retained it and it, it sucks because it looks so good dude and i know how good it is everybody fucking talks about it 
Yeah. I'm just, I'm, I'm slacking, dude. I want to watch it. You want to come over and watch it, bro? Let's do it, dude. I'm down. Talk, talk about the boys we like. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> Throw back to the last podcast. Dude, I... <laughs> yeah. That was funny. I was I was listening back to it, and I was like, that oh, was my funny. God. We went Thanks, in. man, for validating my joke. I got you. <laughs> I appreciate it. So, h- how are you feeling? Are you uh, still uh, woke? Huh. Am I still woke? About what? <laughs> on the on the vitamin that you're taking? Oh, I mean, I learned from it. I learned something important to me, personally. Um, but also, I mean, wait, which vitamin? The one... The Schmied. Oh, always, not dude. Not a vitamin. It's not dude, a vitamin. It's it just... is. That is that is a medicine. A very good medicine. Man, I, I, always con- I feel like I always contradict myself because I'm always talking crazy. And then I'm like, <laughs> we should legalize weed. <laughs> but, you know, whatever, dude. <laughs> we should, dude. I don't know why it's not. Well, I know why it's not. It's a racist law that hasn't changed and for some reason we just are not fucking making it legal because there's not enough research but we fucking allow alcohol and tobacco and nicotine you know all that shit that fucking kills like exactly thousand people every year it doesn't make sense to me and weed literally has a fucking zero death count next to it that's what i'm saying but meanwhile you got all these people Mm, I'm gonna get upset. Oh, okay. Do it, dude. Well, I, do it. Well, I'm Go not out. getting. Up, I'm not gonna get upset. It's just like, open your eyes, please. Do it just for my once. Eyes are open. Well, I'm not talking about you, my friend. I'm talking about people that you know, just kind of live life with these like horse blinders on. You know what I mean? Like where the they're just focused on the track ahead of them and that's it they got those like blinders on the side of their eyes because i feel like most people like live their life man it's like i'm just gonna stick to what i've been told and i'm gonna keep to it and anything else that is different is weird i don't know well i feel like weed is a popular fucking thing the past oh, I, think I know majority of americans want that shit legal they're like why, why the we'd be not? we'd be smoking it like it is homie <laughs> seriously like republicans democrats white black latino asians like we all we all want that shit we mm-hmm. all want <laughs> there i don't think there's any p- base that doesn't want it that I, I don't yeah i don't really know a whole lot of people that like disapprove even people that like don't smoke or you know edibles and you know or any kind of way of taking marijuana but a lot, even a lot of people that i've talked to are like they don't it's not like they they don't care really you know a lot of people that i've talked to that are like that don't partake or even like you know like i'll vote yes for it i'd vote yes for it because you know like why not like it's not really hurting anybody I don't know. I become chatty Cathy when I smoke. I'm like, whoa, let's just talk. <laughs> you know? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> like, people that don't even smoke, yeah, like you said, like, they, they don't care. They're yeah. just like, yeah, fucking do it. Because it doesn't do anything. Like, it just, yeah. like, it just chills. It helps the Dude, economy. Seriously, if we were a bunch of fucking stone, if we were a stoner country, we would be... There would be no fucking tension between anybody. I guarantee you. Everybody I know. Would it. Just be like everybody would just be fucking like just. Oh yeah, this is nice. You know, like we. Dude, it is. Look at that. We <laughs> would not. We would not be hating each other. We would just. But maybe that's why it's fucking illegal. Maybe that's why because they want that tension. Right. That's exactly it. They're like, wow. Everyone would just be happy. We can't have that now, can we? <laughs> Now, Dude, let's uh, sit up here and do nothing. <laughs> no, but we give, we give our citizens the toxins to kill themselves with every day and say it's okay. It just doesn't make sense to me, man. Well, it does from the skeptic's point of view, like we both have. But you know what I mean? It makes sense to us. 
because they're just a lot of evil forces. But you know what I mean? I don't know where I was going with that. So, uh, Evil force. <laughs> and now, there was this topic that I remember that really, really spoke to me. I actually can't remember. I can't remember. I, have a I, memory can't, of the I can't think of anything right now either. Oh, yeah, um, I do have something. We can cut that part. Let's cut. I'm going to be like, we are going to cut this part so it's like unusable. Uh, we're going to cut it. <laughs> okay. And then you wait. You have. Uh, I had something. Jeez, don't. Okay. What, what are you? What are you saying? What do you want? What do you got to say? Nothing. Okay, sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to yell. <laughs> You're at you. good. It's fine. I, I'm. Not, uh, I'm actually in a good mood. It's fine. You go. You're gonna come in. Okay. So, my fucking wisdom teeth hurt so bad right now. I have to get three wisdom teeth removed. Mm-hmm. Uh. And it sucks that I'm doing a podcast right now because I have to talk for like an hour straight most times, you know. Yeah. yeah. And it it's starting to hurt. I mean, my jaw. It. <laughs> I took ibuprofen before this, and it's still just. And so I went to the fucking dentist Thursday, mm. and you know they checked me out. They were like, "Okay, you know, yeah, we're, we're gonna remove three wisdom teeth. It's gonna be cool. Hand me the fucking bill." I will let you know. I fucking pay health insurance. I pay. I have dental insurance. And guess what? It didn't cover? They're not going to fucking cover it. What the fuck am I paying for? Um, front of the line privileges? For the what? Front of the line privileges? Do you get that? At least? No. It's still like, even if you don't have insurance, you still like can walk in anywhere. I, know. That's I, I don't just get kidding. a better system. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But okay, it's gonna be three thousand fucking dollars. I pay almost a hundred dollars every week to my dental insurance. Just my dental insurance. My dental insurance is separate from my health insurance. And I would say, and yeah, look, a zoo cancel. Like, what? that's what I don't get. What am I paying for? Seriously, am I paying my insurance company to not have insurance? I guess so. That's what it honestly sounds like. I have like, what are you paying your dental insurance for? You're not you, you're not getting anything from it. But do you get do you get free like cleanings or what? What Dude, is it like? I what? get nothing. I seriously have to pay a copay still when I go to the fucking dentist. What I'm so conf- like, yeah, okay. Our can- our healthcare system in this country is beyond fucked up. It is so bad. Even when I go to the doctor and get just get a fucking checkup, you know, just like a you know like a annual checkup. I pay more in uh, health insurance every month than I do dental. I think I pay over a hundred dollars every month in health insurance, and I don't know if that's good or bad. I know I have like a, a kind of high deductible. I don't even know how shit fucking works, but even with like. All the money I throw into my health insurance, I still have to pay co-pays. And it's like almost a $100 copay, And it's still like, what the fuck? It, what's the point of having insurance if, like, none of this shit's going to get covered? I, I would, I honestly, personally, if I ever had a situation like that, I would not do it anymore. I wouldn't. I would just... Well, like, I have to have... Like, I need it, you know, just in case something happens. I think it covers, like, the bigger stuff, you know? Like, if I were ever to, like, die, it'll be like, oh, okay, it's covered. I doubt it, actually, but... <laughs> Do they I at least know. give you a grill? I, Do you get a grill? A grill? Like, yeah, dude. Like, bottom six, bottom front six, like, you know, diamond diamond cut? I think that's separate. I don't think insur- you need insurance for that. Oh, so you get nothing from this. You get no, you don't, you, you, I don't, get you get nothing. Nothing from all the money I put in every single fucking week. Yeah. It's hmm. just annoying. Do you, have you ever had to run into that shit? I don't know what I'm going to do for my um, wisdom teeth. I need to get them out. I had my wisdom teeth pulled out in boot camp and I wasn't knocked unconscious. They blindfolded me and it was honestly a terrifying experience. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. It was really good time. Uh, I remember Wait, they blindfolded me. At the dentist? 
In the Navy, yeah, the Navy dentist. Uh, they didn't give you, like, any anesthesia or anything? No. Like, they stabbed me in the mouth with uh, the needles to numb it, and then they put a towel over my eyes, and they said, all right, we're going to start now. And then I heard the saw for about a solid, like, I don't even know how long. I was. It felt like an eternity. I felt like I was there forever. You know? Did it hurt? What the hell? I felt like the pressure. They had to re like, my top right again, uh, like, mid, yeah. And then one of them, like, cut and, like, snapped a little bit, which didn't feel pleasant. But, yeah, dude, it was a... That was a crazy time. I was literally like, <laughs> I was like low key. Like it was like one of those moments where I'm like, okay, God, all right, <laughs> all right, it's me again. Uh, How did you get into that situation where you just like there one day and they were like, Gan, you need your wisdom teeth removed. Get in here. Yeah, that's and actually exactly just, how it went. I was seriously. Yeah, what the fuck? If you could picture it, I was sitting there. Well, not sitting there. I was standing at attention, uh, going through my little morning routine which is consisted of pretty much just like a solid 20 minutes of being called a piece of shit and then uh after that uh they were like they're standing there and they're like okay wisdom teeth uh here we go we're gonna just start listing them off uh then fall in formation and then i was like i was like please not me man not here not here because i just heard all the horror stories about that and then uh yeah and my name was called and then I uh, accepted my humble sacrifice to the stars with my teeth that were, were written on my like, skull. Were you good, like, afterwards, though? Oh, yeah. Like, they, they gave me uh, hydrocodone. I was chilling. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, then, well, yeah. I guess you get it for free because you were in the Navy. Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah, that's how it uh, rolled. I feel like I, I kind of wish I could go through that so I didn't have to fucking... <laughs> three thousand dollars basically out of pocket i mean <sighs> there's there's pros and cons to it all really <laughs> well yeah obviously i don't want to get it's like, kind of a lose folded yeah it's kind of a lose-lose scenario it's like damned if you do damned if you don't <laughs> <laughs> this is somewhere we go i'm just kidding <laughs> did you did you have to go back to the navy dentist ever uh no dude i have ever since then honestly i try to take really good care of my teeth i'm like i honestly want to make it so i don't have to see them ever well do you ha- do you go to the regular dentist yeah okay yeah. okay i'm about to say um again you're supposed to go every two every, years twice every year <laughs> yes i almost forgot oh thanks for my i need to schedule another dentist appointment that i have to pay for out of pocket jesus christ Oh, uh, man. I I hope that I gets hate it better. here, bro. Do you just want to fucking leave? Like, like just yeah, let's that's just my fucking plan. go. Let's move the podcast to, like, uh, where do they have fucking free health care? Florida. Sweden. Let's go. <laughs> Florida. <laughs> Florida. Yeah, <laughs> man. Why did you say Florida? They don't, it's still here. I know. I'm just kidding. Not really, but in the sense, I we should go somewhere with yeah. Sweden has free healthcare up in there, don't they? They hate hmm. Americans, though. Um, I'm not American. I'm actually from London. Um, <laughs> what's going on? No, dude. I'll be like, yo, come on, man. I'm with y'all. I don't. I don't like them either. Come on, man. <laughs> Let me in. <laughs> I bet, I don't think they like British people either. I think you have to be like, well, I don't know. Maybe I the fucking world hates Americans. I hate us too. Dude, it's I remember that when I we go to different state, uh not different states, different countries when I was on deployment. There are some places where they're like, "Nah, fam." But I hear everyone in Australia like really <laughs> loves us there. Well, Australia is basically like the south uh united states united states of the south yeah but with way they cooler also accents. had slavery they also were white colonizers and <laughs> history facts and they got a lot of kangaroos they do got kangaroos and fucking like spiders that will like 
eat you and become a human, and then they will be a spider human. Whoa. It's, dare I say Spider-Man? No, I was about to say, don't get them confused, because one, Spider-Man yeah. is fucking dope, and oh, he's it's like a um, boy with spider powers. These fucking spiders are like, they will eat you, crawl into your body, take over your brain, and then control you through nah. those means, and you become a spider zombie. Oh. I, I, for a split second, I was like, wait, these, these spiders... I, okay, never mind. You were talking in a sarcastic sense, or like a you know, yeah. joking sense. Those was, don't exist. Was, Those are not real like, spiders. I was like, "Whoa, that is hefty." I am not ready for this. Um, no, but it'd be like uh, it'd be like uh, Man Bat in Batman. There's a there's a scientist <laughs> that makes himself part uh, bat. Super cool character actually in the in the series, but he'd be. Uh, man spider dude oh my goodness man spider that'd be terrifying i i, I don't like i'm not I, I don't like bugs snakes are okay bugs mm-mm. okay we're like complete opposites i can't fucking do snakes but i'm okay with bugs oh no my friend dude snakes are f- so cool i'm eventually they're, gonna have one they're like, fucking scary bro i can't nah. look at one like in the eye i'm just, oh my god like he can literally take me out and I, I, there's nothing I can do. Like, there's, like, we have a food chain, you know? Yeah. Like, humans are usually at top of food chain. Mm. I'm seriously, like, below snake, honestly. Like, separate me from the rest of the humans, I'm below snake. I And whatever snake is below, I'm below all those, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> I will let this fucking snake take me. I, like, I will just, like, look at it and I'm done. I there's, just all right. This is my. This is how I go out. They're actually like de- when when they're domesticated. They're actually usually pretty pretty sweet creatures, dude. My friend had a he had a baby boa constrictor, and uh, I like he would have parties, and when I would go over there, he let me just hold her, dude. She was this little uh little baby like um, boa, dude. She was, but she was just. A little thing, you know, she'd like wrapped around, like, but she's pretty decently good size still, but she like wrapped around my arm, dude, and I would just be sitting there and just chilling the whole time. I loved it. I feel like people that own snakes are like uh, just scary people, honestly. Oh, well, I will be a scary person. (laughs) (laughs) I I didn't want to bring it up on this podcast. I wanted to leave it for another one and have my whole rant on like uh, snake owners, but. I'll just say it now. I'll keep it short. Uh, I don't think we should own snakes. I don't know. I feel like, what if it gets out of the cage? Shit. <laughs> it's scary, bro. I'm, like, twitching my, just thinking about it, dude. My babies wouldn't do it. My babies wouldn't do that. I said I said You're, plural. I'm going to have... Oh, man, I just spoke it. Did you, I, did you ever I, I hear of that snake uh that like lady that owned that huge ass snake I, I forget what it was called and it like she would let it sleep with her at night mm. but what they found out what it was like expanding sizing her up. it's yeah, yeah it was sizing, sizing her, up. her up dude yeah what if you were like you woke up the next morning and you were ha- halfway inside a snake see that's why you don't sleep with them why would you have something in your house that you wouldn't trust to sleep with you because they're not made they're not like full-on cuddlers like they're just something to admire bro i would have a big ass like full-on little biome for mine i already know it one day i will and then you're gonna come over and i will be that scary person that has snakes and it's okay because they're gonna be okay and then you're gonna get over your fear and then we can go into a shark tank or something because that's my biggest fear is sharks. Fuck that. What? Sharks are cool, bro. What? Okay. <laughs> I think of a shark I think of a, a shark attack. They are made to kill. They are, their skins like no, fiberglass. They're not, they they they're, kill 10 people average every year. You know how many sharks we kill? Hmm. A lot more. Like over thousands. I don't know. Well, uh, yeah. We're actually we're actually uh, killing sharks at a rate that they're about to go extinct. It's kind of sad. 
Oh wow! And we ne- we need sharks in the oceans for the ocean to survive their ecosystems. Oh yeah. Fun fact. That's what I'm saying. I I'm agree. Wait, were you about to s- you say? Oh, I thought you were about to go into another fact. Uh, no, you, that, no, you, no. That was... I was done. I was just saying, fun fact. Like, yeah. sure, we need sharks to live. Ha ha. I, that's what I do see it in that sense, but I, I, I would would never want people to kill sharks. You know, uh, I. But I, there's something I feared. Oh, I don't know why. Um, I don't. It's just, I guess, the thought of them. It is always just was like. <laughs> I said it's like one of those creatures that literally like like if you like I just feel like there's there's no way you can fight one you know if you like you gotta if you fall gouge off. its eyes out oh man see wow actually that I, that actually because their skin is just like like I was saying it's like straight fiberglass they have all those teeth um they can like sense blood from like over a mile away wait what like how do you what is that that is a that is a, a a monster. I mean, they're just they're just predators. I mean, dude, dolphin. Have you ever seen like dolphins kicking the shit out of a shark? They're so funny. It's just so yeah, like dolphins don't shark, give a fuck. Dolphins are they awesome. don't they're awesome. I agree, dude. Dolphins are amazing. Welcome to the dolphin podcast. Yeah, uh, welcome. This is hazy, and I'm Gan, wildlife <laughs> preserver. No, no, I'm just kidding eventually <laughs> wildlife dude that would be fucking dope if we were just wildlife preserve dude what that'd be so dude who's that guy who's that guy steve uh or, oh fuck what was that steve Irwin. so yeah oh yeah 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 uh, Gro- 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 Hunter, right? rest rest in peace yeah yeah dude i dude i remember like that him. day i was so sad because i watched his show so much growing up and that's Seriously, like i think we all yeah. collectively everybody in the world just mourned was just yeah. like oh my god him and mr what? rogers bro him and mr rogers man like, mr was, rogers was... died did he i thought he did is he dead oh man i'm getting confirmation yes he he is dead what the fuck i didn't know he died yeah i don't want to end i, I don't want to end this on that um yeah but yeah that is true i'm sorry Jay. have you watched any cool shows <laughs> have i watched any cool shows of course you haven't, because you don't fucking watch TV. I I just can't bring myself uh, to do it. I don't know what's wrong Shiloh, with you, bro. Shiloh, do you want to say something to lighten the mood on the podcast? Yeah. Okay, Shiloh's going to say something, and then I'll come back just to, just to lighten it up, and then we can end it there. I, that's what I like to hear. All right, are you ready? Where do I talk? Just talk. <laughs> okay hello hello welcome to hi gannon gan shit sorry uh, that's fine you could use right. my my real my name that's fine okay all right i have my one thing i would like to share i just saw it on instagram it's big news yeah I, well, I, yes let's let's hear this i'm ready okay a mysterious tree creature that terrified Krakow locals turns out to be a croissant. <laughs> How does a... Wait. Croissants <laughs> have like, the capacity to hurt people nowadays? Where? Yeah, I no, didn't get, no, no, no. They just, like, thought it was a... They just thought it was, like, a new creature. I don't oh even know. God. I don't know where Krakow is. Actually, They need to... I don't know. Have they never seen a croissant? That it well, looked like, like a little croissant. It's just like hanging in a tree, <laughs> <laughs> <It's so funny. laughs> and it made the news. All right, it, that's it. That's, that's my, amazing, my piece. dude. That actually that was pretty damn good. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> croissant, dude. A terrorizing croissant. That's insane. That was the that was the lovely Shiloh. Uh, Oh, jeez. Sorry. Oh, oh. I'm skin back in my spot. <laughs> Hello. Welcome Hello. back uh, to the podcast. My name's Hazy. Um, and uh, I'm I'm Gannon. <laughs> okay. Well, we should probably end it. I think that was a good <laughs> send-off. Oh, definitely, dude. <laughs> that croissant sounds lit. They can learn more on my link in bio. They can learn more, Shiloh says. Uh, link in bio. 
uh, follow Shiloh. I will link her somewhere. But for, um, <laughs> for the croissant update. <laughs> Do you want to sing, sing the uh, outro song? Oh, um, yes. Here we go. Um, Let's do. This is the outro to something about the joke. Thank you guys for listening. My name was Hazy. And I was, am, and will always be Gan. Peace. Thank you. Bye.